What's up guys and today we have a dual review between Marquise Brown and John Ross Team of the Week cars that just came out. Now as you can tell these cars are practically identical especially with the speed. Now Marquise Brown does have a slight edge as far as being an all around receiver with the stats but from what I could tell in the field those these two are pretty much the exact same player. Now I do want to say of course you know these guys are it's not a huge surprise nobody should be shocked that these guys are not like the best of the best receivers you know they're not gonna you know blow you away with amazing catches and route running and whatnot speed is the name of the game with these two guys and also they're not they're they are relatively short as far as receivers go in this game so also keep that in mind so let's start off with brown i mean there is one slight difference i didn't notice you know like i said on paper of course marquise brown is a bit better than a ross but one noticeable difference on the field that I noticed was Marquise Brown actually pulled off a few aggressive catches. Something Ross, you know, constantly let me down, which was, was of course, not a surprise. Like like that catch right there, those diving catches in traffic and actually holding on to the ball. Um, those I did not see John Ross pull off at all. But as you can see right here, Brown actually pulled a few of these off. Now, as far as John Ross goes, as you can see right here, I mean, there's only three plays you want to keep in mind with these guys. There's only three you should be using to get the most out of them, which of course is slants, streaks, and uh, screen plays. That's how you're going to get the most out of them. As you can see right here, these screen plays, just catch the ball and go. Now, I know it's tempting because they have 91 speed, and you think, oh, I'm just going to juke and spin my way out of this. Like, no. When you catch the ball, go to the sideline or either just fall down. You know, go out of bounds, fall down. I know it's tempting. Trust me, sometimes I fall for it too, but you really don't want to be tested because they, these guys will fumble. They have fumbled for me, getting hit by linebackers and safeties and whatnot. Now, like I was saying, if you see that your opponent is in man-to-man -man defense, man, if I were you, do what I do. Put them on slants immediately, especially if you see that they have like a slow corner. In that case, just put them, you know, on a deep uh, streak and just hopefully your offensive line, you know, buys you enough time to get your guys some, some uh, distance, you know, some separation. But anyways, guys, as you can see right here, man, slants, screens, deep passes. Get the ball in their hands and just watch them just take off down the field. That's going to wrap this up, guys. Uh, right now, they both actually go for about 3,000 coins. And that's not bad considering 3,000 coins for one of the fastest receivers in the game. Um, so, if I had to decide between the two, I would go with Brown. For me, I'm, right now, I'm going to just keep them both. I doubt they're going to see much of the field. Marquise Brown, my John Ross is just going to stay my kick returner just for now. That's I also forgot to mention that. One more thing to get the most out of them. Um, put them on kick returns. I mean, all you need is just that one lucky block on the kick return, and this guy, or both of them, I should say, will be gone. But, anyways, guys, let's wrap this up. I might review Lamar Jackson next. I see, you know, first I gotta get the coin together. But, anyways, guys, I'll see you boys then.